Hello, what's going on everybody? Today I want to show you how you can update the Logitech Unifying Receivers firmware, the actual firmware. So if it looks like this, it has the Unifying uh, logo right here, a yeah. little star, whatever it is. Um, this is the Logitech Unifying Receiver that you need to update the firmware for, for security reasons and just stability uh, reasons so what you do is go to Google and type in firmware for unifying receiver and just search the first result uh, should be this so just make sure it's from actual uh, Logitech website so firmware update tool click the link the page can look like this all right once you're here Click on this arrow right here, pick which windows you have, if you have a Mac, it's over here, however most of you are going to be on Windows, so make sure you pick the windows that you have, um, Windows 11, latest version, once this, once you click that you will see this, alright, so as of making this video currently, this is the version, alright, 3.0.0. 258181 uh, you want to be on 64-bit if you have a 32-bit operating system which most of you won't be having won't be using so make sure you have 64-bit as you can see it's gonna say here why update um, mainly for bug fixes and also uh, for support of um, Logitech product so the update the firmware update tool allows you to update your Logitech wireless receivers and selected keyboards for the latest firmware so just click um, download now all right that should start downloading I already have it so I don't need to uh, download it again so once it's downloaded open up the folder that you downloaded it in double click the exe it's going to say welcome to Logitech firmware update give you some information so you can it can take it may take several minutes however it doesn't click continue you're going to start searching for Logitech devices as you can see it says this may take a few minutes and there we go uh, mine is already up to date Oh, sorry it says uh, your receiver is ready to update update may take several minutes to complete please do not unplug the receiver or power off the computer during this update process and click update now your keyboard or mouse might disconnect as it's updating so just let it do its thing we go your devices have been successfully updated you can now close this window and use your Logitech product and that is really it guys thank you guys for listening thank you guys for watching leave a comment let me know what you think if you have any questions I will be happy to answer you in the comments take care everyone bye